You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Welcome, I'm Spaghetti King, and this is Sundere Nurse Takes Care of You by Tashi MP3. Um, and she is quite the popular one. I mean, I remember subbing to Tashi back in the early days. Not the earliest of early days. I think she had around 10,000 subs when I uh, first uh, subbed to her. But, uh, this, <laughs> this, um, as you usually expect, is a very good one. Um... There are a couple interesting things about this, uh, but the first thing is the progression is actually quite simple to summarize, because there's basically kind of like three phases to it. And three phases and two scenarios, basically. So the first scenario is when uh, you just uh, go to like introduce yourself to her, and she uh, recognizes you, and uh, you talk, and... Uh, uh, you just throw out some, uh, you know, quaint points, so uh, you're all like, you know, oh, nice seeing you with that, you know, nurse outfit or whatever. And, uh, you know, she, uh, she points out, um, there are a couple lines, but like the weather and whatnot, kind of like mild lines, but, uh, you know, she, she, this is, this is actually a good thing, because she's a Sundre character, but, um, Early on, there's more of like a friendship kind of dynamic established uh, well for you. So uh, there's a line where she says, you know, you know, uh, I have the girls, I have my, you know, companions there, uh, but they're not the same as you. And uh, uh, what was the other line? Uh, there was a line where. Uh, there was a line where she says, like, shut up, or whatever, it's not like I like you, or whatever, but then she kind of, like, mumbles it to herself. Uh, you know, so you have these good... these good lines, uh, early on, um... that are establishing that she has that kind of, like, sundere, uh, dynamic of, like, oh, I'm not going to say what I actually mean, but because she kind of, like, she mumbles it in the one case, and... She basically tells it to you in the, in the other case that, you know, th they aren't like you. Th you know, that, that kind of dynamic is not like what it is with you. Um, you establish that she has, like, deeper feelings for you, that that's good. Because this is my problem with Sundere, where it's, like, so exaggerated that you wonder why you would even be friends with this person. You know, honestly. Because there's a difference between someone who actually, who, who likes you but is uncomfortable about saying it, and someone who basically acts like they hate you, and, you know, insults you, and kind of, like, beats you up, or whatever, and you just, like, put up with it, but then, eventually you'll embarrass them enough for them to kind of, like, say, well, I don't, I don't mind you that much, like, honestly, like, it can be so exaggerated at times that I just find it goofy at some points, honestly. But this was good in the fact that it established that she actually really likes you a lot, but she's just, uh, not overbearing about it. Uh, you know, she's kind of modest about it. And I think that's the ideal Sundre type. I mean, honestly, it, it, it's Sundre to the point where... Probably not a lot of people would even really call it Sundre. Uh, it's really, I would say, called Sundre just for gimmicks and just for notoriety. More so. It's not really necessary, but anyway... Uh, what happens is you have that basic conversation, and then you actually, like, pass out. And, and she was asking you before, um... Oh, are you eating enough? Are you getting enough water and whatnot? And, you know, uh, there's this funny part where, uh... She goes off, like, oh, I'm not your mom, or whatever. And, you know, she's like, oh, well, don't call me your nurse, or whatever. And it's like, you know... That's how it's going, and then you just kind of go... Ugh. You're just done, right? You're just you're just out. Then you wake up, and then she's like, "Oh, well, you know, I, <laughs> hey, sleepyhead, how's it going?" And uh, you're there, and uh, apparently her uh, manager, uh, you know, uh, let you uh, you know go on your own, and uh, 
I'll close the door and it's, uh, you know, nearing closing time, so you, you're just, uh, you know, between each other or on your own there. And uh, you're on your lap too, you know, uh, so you're, you're, in, you're in good strides, you're in a good place. And um, at that point, uh, she... It's basically a point where where uh, she is. It, it's actually it is a good tsundere moment concept where basically what ha what's happening is she is simultaneously trying to be like taking care of you and being like, "Are you okay?" and also saying like, "Oh, I'm not doing that." Um, so she's like, "Oh, well, you know, you're you're with your nurse here, but you know, th this isn't private time specifically, so we could be together. There's nothing about that." And you know, it's like, "Oh, well, you know." Maybe I can just let you sleep on the bed or whatever, and not sleep on my lap and whatnot. And it's 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 good. It's good, because because again, it's it's in that character. It's the way the character is. It doesn't feel gimmicky because there's also the parts where, you know, she says she appreci she appreciates you and whatnot. And that was again said before she had the whole confess to you thing. And as I say, then it goes on to that. So. Um, Basically what happens is you fall asleep again, you know, and then she goes in for a smooch. She tries to kiss you while you're sleeping. So, you know, she goes in for that, and apparently you were either awake or you wake up right when she tries to, um, and then you heckle her, uh, you know, obviously, who wouldn't? Um, and she's like, and she admits it, she goes, yes, I was trying to kiss you. Um, and whatnot, and then you go in. You're like, oh, well, all right. Well, you know, you know, you 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 go in, and uh, then you you both smooch for a little bit there, and uh, then you're kind of there. And then she admits that you know uh, she liked you, and apparently you know almost everyone else knew, but you didn't because you know you're a dense, you're a de you're dense and on, and you're just not on it. So that's how it goes, and. Um, yeah, and for the most part, it kind of just smooths out from there. Um, you say that it's it, it's closing time pretty soon, so we'll basically just you know chill here and uh, you know enjoy the moment after you you know smooched your uh, nurse Sundre best friend whatnot. Yeah, good situation. Sounds, yeah, sounds like a good deal. So you know that's how that goes. That's the scenario. So. I'll just summarize the other things. So, the structure, like I said, um, again, two scenarios, which is the first part where you first talk to her outside, then the second part where you pass out and then you're taken to the hospital. Um, the first part is kind of slow, but it's all right, and it has enough good little subtleties there that I, I, I appreciate it enough. Again, when she mumbles under her words and whatnot, good. The second part is the highlight, though. The second part is actually so good that even though I have highlights or whatever, right, I have the highlights, I could honestly make the entire second half of this video highlight on its own. Like, every single line, highlight-worthy. That's kind of like what we're talking. It's really good. Um, that whole scenario there is great, great stuff. Um, so... Um, I, I already described the scenario on that, and, and I already described why the characterization is good, so I'll just, you know, make point to that, make point to the structure there. So the last thing I have to talk about is the art. And the art's pretty good. Um, you have uh, this uh, girl in the nurse clothes, she's got the, uh, the little you know, buttoned-up shirt thing, and gloves, and a uh, needle, and, uh license card thingy and uh one thing i appreciate is that her collar isn't up all the way but it's up most of the way it's up every button but the top button so you don't actually have any cleavage action going on you know staying innocent staying you know staying clean and uh yeah she's got i say she has brown hair and she's got purple eyes and uh got her hair tied back which i, I didn't see that at first uh she got tied with that those more, uh, those thicker kind of uh, bands that, that tie it, 
And I usually don't really like the look of those that much, unless they're on like a farmer girl or something, but it, it, it worked in this in this situation, so. There you go. That's the scenario, that's the art. That's all that. So very, 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 very good, as you as you usually expect from Tashi. So there you go. Uh, so last thing is the rating. Audio five out of five. Wholesome rating four to five. Only reason is because she said damn once. Tashi has a tendency to curse, and I, 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 never. I, it always rubs me the wrong way. I, honestly, I prefer to avoid. But that's how it goes. So that thumbs down the wholesome rating. Everything other than that, though, was great though, on the wholesome rating, so that's the only thing. Overall rating, 10 out of 10. I mean, that's how it goes. You just got a great structure, you know, great setup, great everything, so... And the rank, great, so... Not as, you know, personally a pusher for me, but definitely structurally just brilliant, so... Very good, uh, you know, as Tashi does. Spaghetti King approves, so, you know, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Spaghetti King. I love you all, and farewell.